Hello goddesses! Welcome back to Habits of a Goddess YouTube channel. I miss you lovely goddesses. I know it's been a minute, but I am back. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting this channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited because it's coming up really soon and I want to celebrate that before the New Year's is coming to an end so I want to say thank you thank you thank you goddesses for supporting the channel and just for supporting the podcast the candle line everything <laughs> so I want to say thank you I appreciate it and I hope you lovely goddesses had a beautiful Thanksgiving so thank you thank you thank you and I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays so far so I want to start this video with gratitude because I feel like Gratitude, appreciation is a frequency that really can transform your energy from feeling just low, yucky, negative, to feeling vibrant, to feeling happy, to feeling positive, and to feeling good, which we're going to talk about. So I have my notes that I like to just journal and write down when I have like a message I wanna share with you lovely goddesses and so I will be reflecting. So I want to just start off with gratitude and appreciation because I really appreciate you lovely goddesses that support me um, throughout the channel and everything, so thank you. <laughs> so today's topic is when you look good, you feel good. And what better topic to start with on this channel today because this week we talked about feeling good affirmations. Um, or by the time you will watch this video, you'll hear the episode feeling good. So if you haven't checked out the latest new podcast episode, definitely check it out because feeling good affirmations will definitely have you feeling good. <laughs> so let's talk about so let's talk about when you look good you feel good so it all works in twine it all works together when you look your best you automatically feel your best it just goes hand in hand there is you know there may be a time where you still look your best and you may not be feeling as vibrant on the inside but it really does help you um, from like a psychological standpoint so when I look in the mirror after I've gotten dressed, after I've done my meditation, after I, you know, maybe had my cup of tea or breakfast or whatever, I can automatically transform my vibration of feeling any just low, yucky energy to really feeling good and feeling vibrant and feeling happy. Um, I do that with things that I can transform like that. So for example, which we're going to talk about is point number one, your appearance. So every time i get on camera i want to look my best because i know these videos are going to be on the internet forever <laughs> and i want to show up as my best authentic high version of jasmine i know how important it really is to find your own style your own like identity and just really flow really flow and go with it so appearance is everything people may try to derail you and say oh just come as you are and just show up as you are no I'm gonna be honest with you appearance is everything when you show up looking your best people treat you different you even treat your own self different you even give yourself permission to shine a little bit more you know you start to have like a little bit more pep in your step, if you know what I mean. So your appearance is everything, ladies. If you find that you haven't kept your appearance up as much um, throughout the year, make it your New Year's re resolution to keep up with your appearance at all times. Whether that's going to buy new makeup so you can start practicing your makeup skills and you can just wear makeup maybe more often during the weekdays, um, or whether that's going and buying a new wardrobe and you can find clothes that are more flattering for your shape, your body style, um, your personality, um, clothes that just fit your lifestyle. 
let's say um, so for example I'm always on camera I'm always um, I have two YouTube channels I have my personal Jasmine Rascal YouTube channel and then I have this channel Habits of a Goddess so on both channels I'm showing up you know talking to you guys and I always make sure that I at least dress up and feel my best because you know when you're on camera people start to look at what she's wearing or your makeup or your hair and people just kind of like resonate with you more on a personal level if you look more appealing to the eye and that's just honesty you know um, a lot of times I follow a lot of people on social media just because I simply love their style you know and then I start to fall in love with their message to you know whatever they're portraying like message wise it could just be um, a vlogger that likes to travel and I love her style and then I start to pay more attention to her traveling vlogs whatever it is right or it could be a spiritual teacher right and she wears cute dresses hint, hint. <laughs> and um, her message resonates and appeal to me a little bit more because I'm more zoned and focused in on what she's saying she's looking more appealing and I'm more tuned into what she has to say I pay more attention and that's just natural human nature instincts like you're gonna pay more attention to someone who looks more presentable, more appealing to the eye than someone who doesn't look presentable. Someone who looks like they just rolled out of bed, you're probably not gonna take them serious. So your appearance, ladies, is everything. And when you look good, you feel good, and you just show up different in the world. So appearance, appearance, appearance. Um, second tip I wanna share with you lovely goddesses is that you want to make sure that you're taking inventory in your life. Detox. Detox is the word that I'm going to use. If you need to detox from family, from friends, um, from social media, do that. Sometimes we place ourselves in predicaments because it's a familiar territory. And a lot of times, especially the holidays coming up, maybe you're not on the best terms with certain family members. It's okay to take a step back if you have to and just detox away from certain family members or friends or whatever, or social media. Detox, take inventory in your life. Is this sucking the life out of me or is this bringing me life? You know, do you feel heavy when you're um, encountering with certain people or do you feel enlightened? So pay attention to like your own energy and certain uh, predicaments and just take inventory and know that it's okay to take a moment to make yourself a priority and detox if you need to. Also, I have to plug this in just because I feel like this is so important. Around the holidays, you may be feeling, um, you know, you may be feeling lonely. Uh, maybe you're not able to have access to um, family, maybe travel, distance, whatever the case is. Or maybe you're around family and you're feeling overwhelmed, you're feeling anxiety. I do want to share that you guys can check out betterhelp.com slash habits of a goddess and get 10% off your first month of therapy. You guys know BetterHelp offers online therapy and the resources are just endless. So you can get matched with an online therapist um, based on your own personal preference. And you can choose to do texting, you can choose to do FaceTime, like Zoom calls, um, whichever is better suited for you. So make sure you guys check out betterhelp.com slash habits of the goddess. And thank you BetterHelp for, spe uh, for sponsoring this video. I know how important it is to just have access to someone you can speak to and talk to during the holidays. Um, maybe you feel a little bit overwhelmed with everything going on. So just make sure you guys use the resources that's available to you and if it's therapy or if it's just you know watching this video and this has been helpful for you definitely definitely take advantage of the resources that you have access to you so thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video all right so the last little tip i have for you lovely goddesses that i really find that is helpful is to Control the dialogue in your own head. A lot of times we have an old message playing in our head and it's really causing us to show up not our best. You know, if we play this old message of there's no one to support us or um, I'm not good enough, 
or um, it's impossible to do XYZ, that is a dialogue that's playing in your mind and that is psychologically not healthy at all. You want to really restore positive affirmations in your mind. If you want to grow, if you want to evolve, if you want to show up um, as your best authentic self, restore positivity into your mindset. You know, start speaking positive words like feeling good affirmations and find your own your own inner voice um, in the morning early in the day if you can control that conversation I feel like you have the potential to really have an amazing amazing day you know your day can go from good to great and it doesn't matter what comes your way because we, we're human um, no one's walking around you know without experiencing different things in their life but you really really you would see things different from your own point of view when you can control the narrative in your mind and you can control the conversations you're having with yourself i feel like you really can really have a great perspective in life so when you look good you feel good and we speak positivity in your mind your overall well-being will just radiate like you'll just glow so I hope these helpful tips helped you, a lovely goddesses, especially with the holidays. I want you guys to show up as your beautiful divine goddess self. Also, I want you to show up on December 3rd. We're having our 3D vision board party and it's going to be amazing. I will have the link below for you guys to join. It's going to be a live workshop and even if you're not available to attend at 7 p.m. on December 3rd, you can always replay the workshop. So make sure you lovely goddesses are signed up. I want to see you guys there. I want to see what your vision board is going to be and I want to just welcome, welcome, welcome you guys because I know this year is coming to an end, but we're going to step into 2022 in our goddess power. So I'm excited and I look forward to seeing you lovely goddesses there. If you guys have any questions for me, please comment below. Or if you have a special request for a video in the future on this channel, comment below. Until next time, goddesses, I'll see you later.